Yo, what's going on guys? This is Burn again, and this is tutorial number 13. And in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about unlinking the social accounts, Facebook and Google, that we linked up in the last video. So if you haven't checked out those videos, go to my channel, check out the Node.js playlist and start catching up. Okay, so as you can see here, we have three accounts, a Facebook account, a local account, and Google account that we have all linked and merged into one account that we've saved in our database. Now we have some buttons here that we've created in HTML that are only visible if those accounts are linked. Uh, we use an EJS uh, profile for that, our script here. Uh, so if we cl click on these links right now, we're gonna get uh, cannot navigate. So basically we need to set up the routes uh, for these buttons. So let's do that now. Okay, so I want you to navigate to the routes.js file and we're gonna th create three new routes. The first one is gonna be app.get and it's going to be unlink uh, Facebook and then it'll take in a function with a request and a response and we'll put in the logic later. Uh, next, we'll do app.get um, unlink local also takes in a function request and response. Again, we'll put in the logic later. And finally, app.get slash unlink Google and a function request response. And there we go, let's put in the logic now. Okay, so let's get to our logic for our Facebook unlink. Uh, so we're gonna create a new variable and call it user. And in user, we're gonna take in our request.user, which has all the information about everything that's in our database for that user right now. All we need to do is remove the token that Facebook uses. We're gonna go ahead and keep the ID, we're gonna keep the name, and we're gonna keep the email just in case they wanna come back and relink later. All we have to do is add uh, the token back in which they use for authentication. So let's do that now. Um, User.Facebook.ID, actually dot .token, sorry, equals null, and then user.save, function and it takes a, it's an error function if there's an error uh, then throw the error otherwise redirect them to uh, back to their profile so res di redirect to slash profile and that is the logic for Facebook okay so let's do the same thing for our Google account a uh, new variable user equals request.user um, user.google.token equals null and then user.save function error and then if there's an error throw error and then otherwise we're going to go ahead and res.redirect to our profile. So now let's go ahead and set up our local uh, thing, which will be a slightly different. So since our local object doesn't have a token to unassociate, we're just gonna basically delete the account uh, since they're unlinking it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new user, or, or a user, and get that information again. Now what we're gonna do is user.local.com email um, equals null and user.local.password equals null and let me check that really quick let's go to our uh, model here was a user it was not email it was actually a username so let's go back to our routes um, so it's dot username and then now we'll just save that user.save um, and then function error if error go ahead and throw the error <coughs> otherwise res dot redirect to our profile page now let's save that and test it Okay, so we do have one misspelling here. Let's just unlink instead of unline. Go ahead and save that. 
um, refresh our page here. Um, we'll go to our home page. Log in with Facebook. So we have all of our accounts already uh, active right now. We'll try unlinking Facebook. It unlinks itself. Um, let's connect back. Uh, unlink our Google account. Unlinks it. And unlink our local account. Unlinks that. Now we can reconnect our Google account. And let's see, reconnect. When we try to reconnect a local account, we actually have to new one, create a new one because we deleted it completely. So let's do that. A little password ABC123 action. Save it. And there you have it. Okay, so there's one final thing we need to do, and that's update our strategies. And let me show you why. If we unlink our Facebook account and then log out, when we try to log back into Facebook with Facebook, it lets us. Um, because we haven't deleted the ID. Now, what we want to do is uh, adjust our strategy uh, on our passport.js file to for it, this uh, section right here. So, what is happening is uh, the the user is logging in for the first time, or at least uh, you know after logging out, um, and it's finding uh, using Mongo's database to find the Facebook by ID, and it is returning a user. So there's no error, and it is returning a user. So it's just returning uh, to the callback, uh, no error, and the user that's already dead. It's not updating anything. Um, and unfortunately for us, that user that it's returning doesn't have a token. So what we actually need to do is we need to adjust this section right here to include a little bit of extra text. We want there to be a check to see if the user has a token already assigned to them. Uh, so if uh, the user doesn't have a Facebook.token, then we want to uh, tell the user that they need a Facebook.token equals token or access token up here. I always miss that. Um, user and then we'll just copy these because um, just in case uh, the user since the last time they um, authorized uh, they changed their like name because they got married or they changed their email or something like that uh, we just want to update their email and their name uh, so let's go ahead and just change these to user And then let's save it. So user.save function that takes an error. If error, then we'll throw it. And then all we have to do is return uh, to our callback uh, null for no error and the user that we just saved. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that for Google and local strategy as well. So in the same spot in the Google strategy, let's just do it uh, really quick. Same kind of deal. So if uh, user.google.token, if they don't have one, then what we're going to do is user.google.token equals access token. And then let's copy their to change, copy the, the uh, username and or their display name and their emails update those uh, so we just gotta adjust this user and then let's save it user dot save function error if there's an error go ahead and throw the error display it to our console and otherwise, we're just going to return to our callback, uh, no error, and the user we just saved. One more to go. Actually, just kidding. Because we are deleting the user uh, name and password on the local strategy, we're just going to create a new one. Uh, in that case, we don't even need to adjust the local uh, sign-up strategy. Um, so we're done. Let's just go ahead and test everything out. Uh, so we're logged in here. Let's unlink with Facebook and log out and then log back in with Facebook and we no longer have that missing information so it's it's relinked um, let's unlock or unlink with Google and log out and then log back in with Google test it and again we're linked again 
and then let's unlink with local and log out and in this case we would have to uh, create a new uh, username and password and then we would have to reassociate with Facebook or Google um, so that's kind of a side case you'll have to deal with that uh, programmatically however you want to deal with it uh, but this is going to work in our case um, so I hope you like this tutorial um, there's going to be a few more in this Node.js tutorial and then I'll be moving on to I believe Angular uh, so if you guys uh, like the video uh, go ahead and click subscribe um, keep watching if you have any questions concerns uh, type them in the comments below I love to hear constructive feedback uh, so again thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow